Hi, after watching this video, you will be able to discover how to manipulate both rate limiting and common API policies via the API CTL. The key idea behind this feature is to export a policy available in one environment and import it to a different environment. To get started, there are four main commands introduced in API CTL to perform get, export, import and delete operations on both common API policies and rate limiting policies. As you can see, common API policies available in the publisher portal can be now manipulated via the API CTL. The API policies designed in the dev environment can be propagated to the prod environment using the API CTL. Such imported policies can be applied across all the APIs in the upper environment. Also, you can view the existing policies in each environment and if needed, can delete with these commands. Similarly, Rate limiting policies available in the admin portal can be manipulated using the introduced command for rate limiting policy feature. As you can see, the API CTF supports import export functionality on four types of rate limiting policies. This type flag will be used to filter the policies based on the policy type in API CTF. So now let's quickly see how we can perform the aforementioned task via the API CTF. Please note that we have pre-configured the setup and will be performing an import-export scenario on both common API policies and rate limiting policies. Here, source environment will be the dev and the destination environment will be the prod. So in order to list all the API policies available in the dev environment, we can simply execute the get command with the environment given. So as you can see, if you just run this uh, get policies command with the help option available so this uh, default limit value is set to 25 so if you want to customize it we can simply consider this uh, dash dash limit flag or else if we want to fetch all the api policies we can simply consider this dash dash all option available also if we want to change the output format into json array we can simply consider this uh, dash dash format option given also, please note that uh, this environment flag is mandatory uh, one to execute all the commands introduced. So now I will be listing down all the API policies available in the dev environment. So as you can see, the created demo policy details are also shown with this output and we will be considering uh, this uh, name and the version in order to export this policy to our file system. Here, when exporting, the policy name and the version are mandatory flags and this uh, demo policy v1 gets exported to the file system as an archive and you can find the path from the output itself. This archive contains uh, the policy specification and definition that is specific to the API gateway. Now the exported one will be imported to the prod environment by changing the environment flag value to using the import command now the demo policy version 1 is imported to the prod environment so here uh, the file path can be either absolute path or relative path as mentioned in the slide to verify the import operation we can simply execute the get command on prod environment so as you can see the demo policy has been successfully imported to the prod environment in order to delete the policy, we can simply execute the delete command uh, with the policy name and the version and the environment given. So now uh, this API policy is successfully deleted from the prod environment. In throttling policy, you have the option to query with the type of the throttling policy as discussed in the slide or else you can get all the rate limiting policies without specifying so if i just execute this uh, get rate limiting policies command so as you can see the created demo policy is already there so this will be considered uh, to export in the upcoming task here the name of the policy needs to be provided and the policy type is an optional flag however if you have the same policy name for multiple rate limiting policy types you need to provide the policy type if 
type is not specified if we fetch the first policy from the database. Unlike in API policies, we do not support the policy versioning here. Also note that the default file output type is YAML and you can change this into JSON from the dash dash format flag available. If the policy is already existing, it can be updated with the dash dash update flag and if not, import operation will fail. Then the exported policy will be imported to the product environment using the import policy command. From the import command, this advanced throttling policy gets imported to the product environment. So now it has been successfully imported to the product environment uh, with the name uh, demo policy. So in order to verify uh, the import operation, so we can simply execute the get command on production environment. So as you can see, the demo policy has been successfully imported into the product environment. Hope you enjoyed the demo on API and rate limiting policy management with WSO2 API CTL. For more information, please visit these links. Thank you.